Metaphysics, bringing you another Law of Attraction lesson. Today I want to speak to you about the Law of Attraction, critical before sleep. That's right, critical. The reason I'm saying this is because so many of us waste so much valuable time when that time could be used to manifest what you want in your life. I've told you there's multiple ways of manifesting the things you want in your life. But the one thing that's common, no matter what anyone tells you, it all starts from your subconscious. Your subconscious is where everything happens, where everything occurs. It's the most crucial, it's the critical point of the manifesting of the law of attraction and any other thing that you want. Now, the reason I'm mentioning um, critical before going to sleep, the law of attraction, is because we have to find a time where we're not thinking as much. Now listen, it doesn't matter if it's positive or negative. Our mind carries 80,000 thoughts a day. A day, people. So we need to learn how to quiet our minds down in order for us to impregnate into our subconscious what we desire. The best time to do that is when you're alone, you're peaceful, but the number one time that I tell people is before going to bed. People you just don't know. Before you go to bed at night, the time between getting in your bed, getting relaxed, laying there and dozing off, that is the most critical time, that and waking up, to manifest your dreams. What our aim is, is to connect to that subconscious, to penetrate that doorway leading into the subconscious. That's the most important thing to manifesting. If you can penetrate and you can get to that subconscious, and make your conscious and your subconscious match, you're on your way. The subconscious is going to do whatever it can do to bring and manifest in your life what it believes to be true. That's why it's important to do affirmations, um, visualization. And like I said, one of my best times of doing it is at night. Or I like while I'm driving, but it's not safe, people. So I tell people before going to bed and upon wakening, it's your time to spend a good five minutes in the bed talking to your subconscious, visualizing, saying affirmations, and trying to get it impregnated into your subconscious. Believe me, it's gonna work. If you keep trying over and over and over again, it has no, no other option but to take it in. That's how psychoanalysts work. That's how psychologists work. That's how NLP works. They sit there and they impregnate into your subconscious what it is you're trying to manifest or who you're trying to become. Now, what I'm telling you to do is before you go to bed, know what you want to manifest in your life. That's always most important no matter what. The next thing it is, is I want you to have already what you're going to say. Now, what you're doing actually, you're, you're putting your subconscious to work while you sleep. And don't say, hey, that um, I need my rest. Your subconscious never sleeps. If it did, you wouldn't be here. Why? Because your heart wouldn't be pumping. Your blood wouldn't be circulating. You wouldn't be dreaming. You wouldn't be doing any of that stuff if your subconscious totally went to sleep and, and, and did nothing. This is the time where all the, the chitter and the chatter of the conscious is no longer in effect. And that's the time where the subconscious can hear you, where the subconscious can, can hear what's going on and you can impregnate into your subconscious what you're trying to do. It's those minutes before going to sleep, that doorway, that is going to allow you to manifest the things in your life. Every night, if possible, if you remember and don't fall asleep before actually doing it, 
at night before you go to sleep, you must give your subconscious a task, something to do. It doesn't matter if it's coming up with a solution to a problem. It doesn't matter what it is. Um, saying affirmations, trying to get your subconscious to accept, to accept what you're putting in its mind. But the bedtime is the best time to do this. I tell people all the time. So many people, they get in bed and they watch TV and they fall asleep. I want to tell you, please don't fall asleep with the TV on. Unless you're listening to something um, binaural beats or something like that, or something calming and, and soothing. Because your subconscious never sleeps and it hears everything. And this is the time where the chitter chatter is not going on for your conscious. So your subconscious is really hearing it. I want you to put your con subconscious to work at night. It doesn't matter if you talk to yourself and you ask you, you talk and you express anything going on in your life that you need solutions to. It doesn't matter if you give it um, affirmations. It doesn't matter if you do visualization. Whatever it is, I want you to go to bed with that being the last five minutes on your mind. Please try to stay away from movies where there's killing and cursing, profanity. Please stay away from that when you go to sleep at night. That last hour before you go to sleep, please. There's nothing worse than going to sleep with somebody being murdered. Do you know what you're doing to yourself? I would hate for you to be in a situation where you got caught up in that because your subconscious put you in that type of situation because you was feeding it, feeding your subconscious that every night before going to bed. What I'm trying to tell you is critical. It's very critical. The law of attraction before going to sleep is critical, no matter what anyone may tell you. It's the biggest thing, it's the biggest gift that I can give you and anyone else that's watching this. I've manifest cars, houses, jobs, um, education, money. I, I've done it all. Selling property, buying property. I mean, I've done it all. It, it, you know, some of it was good, some of it was bad, but I created it, but I did it. So I just wanted to let you guys know that you guys can do it also. Again, this is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics. Namaste. Thank you.